Hi, this is Gopal Kamath and welcome to GetYourRestaurant.com. Uh, I am a restaurant owner and the founder of GetYourRestaurant.com where I teach you how to open your own successful restaurant. And today I have got a very important topic very close to my heart and one of the most crucial topic as far as success of your restaurant is concerned. I am going to cover the menu pricing. What I mean by menu pricing is what should be the pricing of your food items which you are serving to your clients. How should you reach the pricing structure, uh, pricing of the menu as far, uh, as far as your opening of a restaurant is concerned, which will kick the ball out of the stadium, which, will, which is like the perfect pricing to make sure that a lot of uh, customers, a lot of guests come to your restaurant and have food and you make a lot of profits in the long run, in the uh, interchange of food and beverages. So now this pricing is on the eighth step of my restaurant launch formula. I have a nine step process. I have boiled and distilled down to a formula which if you follow step by step will make sure that uh, you can open a successful restaurant. You can get this whole restaurant launch formula. I can show you this restaurant launch formula. You can get this whole restaurant launch formula if you click the link in the description section below and you can download this whole restaurant launch formula. Now let's get back to the most important topic of uh, uh, this video that is the menu pricing. Now why is pricing uh, important? Why do you feel that uh, uh, we should price our menu? We can always copy our competitors and keep the same price. The client will go there and uh, uh, sometimes he'll come here. If you think, if you're thinking like that, that is one of the most, uh, uh, sorry to say, but the stupidest mistake you can ever do as far as a restaurant owner is concerned. There are a lot of things which you need to consider in order to price your menu. And only after doing that, can you price your menu right? Because if you, uh, the whole purpose of opening a restaurant is to make profits. It is not about feeding people. It is not about creating a change in the society. It is not about anything like that. It is a business if you open is about making profits. That is the number one rule and that is the only rule. How you do the profits, what you do with the profits is a different issue. But if you are running a restaurant, then please make sure that you will make profits. You have to make profits from it. Otherwise, you better run a uh, run, run a dharamshala. You don't run a restaurant. Dharamshala is like a uh, charitable kind of an organization which is cool I mean I am very okay with it so let's let's take the first topic of what you should consider in order to price your menu the first is the input cost what all is actually costing you in order to produce that food what all are things which are going in that in your monthly basis which you are paying in order to cook that food and then that each item which goes carries all these costs when it goes to the client, when it goes to the customer and he eats it. So there are a lot of things which are there. First is your rent or your liability. How much rent are you, uh, how much rent are you giving in the place? If the rent is very high and if you are selling the food very cheap and you are just selling a couple of plates, you are totally going to go into losses. Second is the labor cost. What is your staff? What is your salary? What is your daily wages? What, what all labor cost is there? What is the raw material cost? How much are you paying in order to get these raw materials which you need in order to cook the food? All the raw material ingredients, your oil, your salt, your masalas, your vegetables, your non-veg, whatever you are cooking as per the menu. What is your energy cost? How much gas is required? How much electricity is required? How much? Each and everything uh, you have to first calculate in order to make sure that that is the bare minimum which you need to get in in order to make sure that you are a break even as far as your restaurant is concerned. What, how much will be your profits? This is one thing which misses in most of the <laughs> people who are planning to open a restaurant. As you know, I'm a, I consult a lot of people in order to open their restaurant and they forget to add the profits. So I said, where is your profit percentage in this? So I said, oh, okay, this is my cost. I mean, I have not added profits. I said, why? You should add minimum 20 to 25% of your profit margin because if you don't add profit, who is going to give you the profits? If you don't ask for the profits, how are, how are you going to get these profits? So make sure you have that in mind. As I said earlier, profit should be your number one priority. Profit should be your number one uh, formula. 
number one principle as far as opening, uh, running a restaurant is concerned. So these are a few things. There are a lot of other miscellaneous things also which you can uh, calculate. I'm just giving you a brief idea. The second thing is type. What kind of a restaurant it is? Is it a mass restaurant for masses? Is it in front of a railway station? It is in front of a bus stand where huge number of people are coming in. So comparatively, if the volume is very high, you have to keep the pricing little average because masses, as you know, have limited spending capacity. Their requirement is limited. Their quantity size is also limited. So I have given this topic as uh, volume versus exclusive. Volume in the sense the masses exclusive is when you are serving food in a premium kind of a restaurant. If your restaurant is uh, an AC restaurant, it's a lounge or it's it's a premium restaurant, then the pricing will differ, the pricing will go higher. The reason is the costs also grow higher and you cannot sell a vada pav in 10 rupees in a fine dine restaurant because all the masses will come in there. You will not be able to uh, the uh, what happens is the exclusive the cl uh, client which are premium client want people want to sit with people who are uh, the same there like theirs so you cannot mix both the classes i have nothing against the masses i have nothing against the classes i'm just giving you a um, uh, commonsensical answer over here commonsensical opinion of mine so make sure that you uh, you know which kind of type of restaurant you're opening the third is the vestiges and pilferages. This is one of the uh, biggest thing which most of the people forget. We don't consider the, <coughs> sorry, we don't consider how much wastage we are doing in that wastage which is going in down the drain in the night when the, when your chef or when your cook he throws away the leftover dal or the leftover rice or whatever he, because it has gone bad or it is not going to be used the next day or whatever. He, when he throws that down, that much cost is actually your profits which is going down the drain so first of all you have to make sure that you have to reduce the wastage you have to reduce the you have to cook as per the order you have to you have to systemize your restaurant in such a way where each order is made after using the materials then and there itself you don't have to cook a huge quantity of each item and then make sure if nobody comes in you just throw it off that will make sure that you your restaurant shuts down as fast as possible actually so wastages and pilferages are also very important you have to have a eagle eye view on that and the last is the market relevance what i mean by market relevance is the type of restaurant which i have covered which you have opened what is the menu costing of your uh, competitors how much are they charging how many restaurants are in the periphery area of your restaurant which charge which give the same items like you or more or less the same menu what are the charges so you have to keep those charges at a 5 or 10 percent up and down compared to those restaurants if that restaurant let's say for example is serving uh, a, a pasta let's say penne in white sauce if a restaurant is serving it at 200 rupees and you are nearby that restaurant you cannot sell your pasta in uh, penne in white sauce at 1000 rupees because that is simply not going to work ideally restaurants in the same area attract customers from the same uh, residential locations or uh, locations unless your restaurant is very high end and it is situated in an exclusive kind of a restaurant then you can charge that amount but ideally if the restaurants are in the same location your menus should more or less be uh, pricing should more or less be a little bit similar similar but again i have put this on the last side you don't have to do this first most of the people do the mistake of just copying the competitors pricing they don't know what they are charging they just copy it and then they don't know how to make profits so make sure you uh, think of this i know it is not a sassy topic it is not a very attractive topic but uh, I, I totally believe in the 80-20 rule. So this is the 20% which is going to make sure that you get 80%. Don't, don't uh, deny this. Don't ignore this topic. Menu pricing is one of the most important aspect of uh, uh, success in, in your restaurant. It is not very uh, sassy, but it is very, very significant, very, very important. So I'm sure you uh, get a lot from this video. Please ask me questions, comment on this video. If you are new to this video, 
if you are new to this channel subscribe to this channel share it with your friends with on your facebook page on your instagram page wherever and make sure that you stay tuned because i co I, I cover more or less all the topics which are required in order to you to open a successful restaurant ask me questions and thank you so much for watching this video this is gopal kamath signing off bye bye